Hi, and welcome back to day 10 of the Archer Video Sew Along. Today, we will be inserting our sleeve plackets. Now, this is not a hard step, um, but it does trip people up a bit. So I'll be sharing some of my favorite tips and tricks that I've learned over the multitude of archers that I've sewn, as well as where I've noticed people getting tripped up while I teach. So with that, let's dive in. Okay, to start, you're going to need both of your sleeves. And you can see here that we have two opposite sleeves. This is very important. You wanna make sure you have laid out with the right sides facing up, two opposite sleeves. So here's the placket, placket. You can see they're mirrored. Up top, we have two notches for the back, one notch for the front, and then one notch for the front, two notches for the back. So we have two opposite sleeves. Then you're also going to need your two sleeve placket pieces. Now, before we start, we're gonna to need to slice our plackets open. Um, and there's a notch here and a mark that you should have marked here. So just slice with a scissor up to the point. And you can see here, I usually don't do this, but I did add a little bit of fusible because this linen frays like, uh, it's just crazy. Um, so I would say, 49 times out of 50, I don't fuse this. I don't see the need to, um, but for this, just because it, it's fraying like crazy, I did put a little bit of fusible right there. So up to you if you wanna do that. The very first thing I want you to do before we really get started is to take your sleeve plackets and turn them over so the wrong side is facing up. Now take one and align it to the side of your placket piece on one of your sleeves and just put a pin in there. Then take the other and same thing on the same side. Just pin it right there. This way, when we sew these together, we're making sure we, having, we have two opposite um, sleeves. We're not sewing anything. So we end up with two of the same sleeve at the end, which is something I see a lot. So just quick prep. So now set aside one of your sleeves. Now after you have your two ends pinned in place, flip your sleeve over. And this is the easiest way I found. It's just pull on the two ends and you'll see the center of the placket just naturally wants to fall in the right spot. Now let's talk a minute about how we're going to be stitching this because that will inform how we're aligning this. In order to finish the placket so that you don't have any raw edges and so that you don't have a pucker here on your, shirt, on your sleeve, you're going to need to stitch a quarter inch seam allowance across the placket, but this uh, point where you've cut to is going to need to fall just inside the quarter inch. So you're going to just barely catch that point and that's how you end up without a pucker. If you catch it too much, you'll have a large pucker. So you want this point to fall just inside the quarter inch seam allowance. And you can see that is why I fused this area. Um, but you can see also how easy it's going to be to sew across that. It's not gonna be a big problem. Um, this is by far the easiest way I found to align things. So I do just stick a pin in either side just to keep things in place as I move over to my machine. And then we're gonna go over to the machine and with our regular stitch length, we're just gonna stitch across a quarter of an inch just catching this point and then out the other side. So let's go do that now. Okay, so we'll be sewing across again at a quarter inch and I'm using a quarter inch foot. So that means the raw edge is going to align with the edge of my foot. I do want to back tack here. And I want to keep this taut as I sew. You can see I'm just catching a 
and then back tack at the end. All right, and here you can see how I've just caught that stitching there. And that is why with a fabric that's this shetty, um, I do want to just reinforce this a little bit. And just a note, this will be visible slightly on the wrong side, but I think it's a fair trade-off. All right, so now we're gonna head over to our table. Okay, our placket now looks like this on the wrong side and on the right side like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to press the placket away from the sleeve. So just start on one side, press and then go over to the other side and press. And when you do that, make sure you're not pressing in any um, wrinkles up at the top here and get in there with the point of your iron. And here you can see I don't have any puckers um, and I did catch the point. So that's what you want. Now turn your sleeve over so that the wrong side is facing up and just straighten out this seam. I'm going to trim off a few of these threads because they're getting in my way. And then we need to finish the placket. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold the quarter inch seam allowance over. Don't burn yourself. Steam is just so hot. Let that cool for a minute. And then we're going to again Fold this over so it just meets the seam line that you sewed. My iron is so hot right now. Whew. So again, we have a double fold to here. Then we're gonna pin this in place. And feel free to, you know, be liberal with the pins here. It's such a tiny little thing you're catching. You don't wanna make, you don't wanna miss it at the machine. All right, so this is what we have on the wrong side. And then on the right side, we're looking at this. So now we're gonna go, we're gonna stitch just to the side of the seam line on the placket. So you're gonna just stitch right along here. Okay, so we are gonna stitch Again, right along this line on the placket. So I'm using my edge stitch foot and I have set my needle just two places to the right. Gonna do a single back tack and just stitch across and make sure you remove your pins before you run them over. Because we want a nice smooth seam here. And go right through the middle. And 
to the end. Okay, I'm gonna do just one back tack, raise my needle, and clip. Now here you can see the front, and then I've caught the back easily. When making a shirt, you want everything to fall towards the back of the garment smoothly. So the placket that is towards the front um, will press under, and the placket that is towards the back will remain visible. And I'll show you that now. What that means is the front of your sleeve is over here, so you'll be pressing this placket under. And then this placket is going to stay flat which means you'll end up with something like this. So I like to press mine under from the wrong side. Ooh, very powerful. Just press that. And then one thing I like to do just to make sure that this stays how I want it is I head over to my machine and I stitch from this seam line over to here in an angle. So you're stitching here. Don't go past this seam line because you will get a pucker because past this seam line is the actual sleeve. So you wanna keep it on the placket. So this point down to here. All right, so here you can see, I'll just be sewing a small triangle like this. I'll be sinking my needle here, back tacking, going to here and then back tacking. This will be easier for you guys because you can have the light on your machine on. I have mine turned off so that it shows up on video. So sink your needle. Back tack, make sure you don't cross that point. Clip your threads. Here you can see just right from the corner there, right over to the edge. All right, and here you can see we have no pucker pressed under. The final thing we want to do, just because when we're sewing the cuff in place, we don't want to worry about this moving around, is we're going to just stitch this down within the seam allowance. So you can baste, stitch within the seam allowance, which is what I'll be doing, but we want to get this secured. Now at this point, I'll also be folding the pleats, so that way it's done and we don't have to worry about that. So simply just find the two um, notches Hold them together and pin. And then again, here and here. And if you're wondering why the curved edge exists on this, it basically gives you room for your elbow. All right, so I'm gonna just put one more pin in here. It's kind of moving around a little bit. Now we're gonna head over to the machine and we're just gonna stitch these three points in place. That way they don't move around when we're adding the cuff and it's just done, we don't have to worry about it. And then this is not a place you need to back tack. I do just because I don't want this to come out while I'm working. I still have to put the sleeves in, all that kind of stuff. So I just want it to be secure. So we're just stitching across these points. your threads. All right, and our placket is now complete. That's all there is to it. It's really very easy. People get very stressed out about this, but it's like super easy. Um, and again, everything goes smoothly and cleanly towards the back of the garment. So that is it for your placket. You're just going to repeat these steps for the other sleeve.
Okay, so that was easy. We have our placket in. It looks great. There's no pucker here. It was very easy, wasn't it? A lot of people stress out about this. It can seem scary, but um, really just follow the techniques I outlined and it'll be so easy to align. It'll sew in very nicely. You'll have no problem, I promise. Um, so that is it for your placket. You're gonna repeat this for your other sleeves. You have two mirror images. And up next, we will be setting our sleeves. So things will really start to look like a shirt after our next lesson. So stay tuned for that. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any updates. Um, all right, I'll see you back here next time for inserting sleeves. Bye.